Welcome to GardenWise Adventures. My name is Malie and today is finally the day to be able to plant tomatoes. Now I thought I was going to be able to plant tomatoes in the last video, but it turned out that the peppers took too long. Baby? Now we are in the last week in March and tomatoes need a good six weeks in their pots. And tomatoes need a good eight to ten weeks after you plant them by seed. And so tomatoes I like a good to plant eight to ten weeks near the end of May, before you so we've got about eight weeks before that happens. So this is the perfect time so to plant like tomato to plant seeds. So I wanted to kind of show you what I'm going to plant and talk to you a little bit about tomatoes and how to grow them. I've been growing a few indoors. I've been growing the micro dwarfs in some of the dwarfs, but they have caused me a little bit of issues I'm going to have to work on for next year. I've had a few harvests. Um, I had a lot better harvest last year. Now I have a list right here of how many tomatoes I can grow. I am trying to grow a lot of different varieties of things in my garden and I don't have a lot of room so I'm having to be really careful this year how many I actually plant because I really don't like to get rid of things and I end up throwing them away. So I went through the tomato varieties that I grew last year and chose my favorite ones and added one new one. And the favorite one I had of the orange tomatoes, because orange tomatoes were great, but I don't want as many as I had last year. The one I decided to grow this year is the Kentucky beefsteak. It was an amazing, huge, delicious tomato. And it was my favorite of the orange ones. I got these seeds from Gardening Fun with Jane off of YouTube. And uh, so these are the ones that I'm gonna plant. So I'm gonna do two in each spot because I want to be, make sure I have germination. And we'll put those down a quarter of an inch. And then since these are going in the smaller pots, I'll have to transplant them up to bigger pots later. Jane also sent me some mushroom basket and I only actually have two seeds left of that. Actually, probably only one. That one was not looking very healthy, but we'll plant both of them just in case because I loved that one. I need to start saving seeds from these. And then I'll put a blank one here so that I know that those two cells don't have anything in them yet. I might try to get more seeds of the mushroom basket. Now these seeds are really interesting. If you'll no notice they're green. I just read the seed pack and it looks like they were treated with a fungicide. That way they don't go bad. Now this is not a poison or anything. You know, I, w I wouldn't suggest eating the seeds, but I don't eat tomato seeds anyway. So the, it's just interesting. I hadn't seen them like this before. So the next tomato we're going to plant is another one of my favorites. This one's a darker tomato. It's called Black Seaman and it's got the most wonderful flavor. It's kind of got a, a darker, smokier flavor. Absolutely love this tomato. It's hard to find the seeds. I know M.I. Gardener has some. I can't even see any seeds in here. Are there se actually seeds? Let me see if I can get this bottom part open. Wow, there's not very many seeds in here. See how many there are. It says there's 25 seeds. I don't believe it. Either that or the 25 seeds, yeah, are very, very tiny. So let's see how many seeds there are in here. That is not 25 seeds. That's about half the amount of seeds. This is from Seed Savers Exchange. And I think I only got half the seeds I paid for. But anyway, we'll plant them all. We're going to plant two seeds in each cell. Now Jetstar is an hybrid, which means there were two different tomato parents. And when you plant the seeds of the Jetstar, you're not going to get a Jetstar tomato. You're not going to know what you're going to get because you have that cross. Now the Black Seaman is, a, is an heirloom tomato or open pollinated tomato which means that it has just been saved, the seeds have been saved from, from generation to generation because people have valued this tomato plant for maybe its size or its color or its flavor. Now I may need to save seeds on it because these seeds were expensive and there aren't any more now. Now the next ones I'm going to do is I'm going to try an experiment. These are both cherry tomatoes. We have a sun sugar and a sun gold. Sun gold has always been my favorite, but I haven't really known what the difference between sun sugar and sun gold is. So I'm going to try to keep them separated so that we can know which one is which and see which one I like best. Now sun sugar and sun gold are both hybrids. Don't be afraid of hybrid tomatoes. A lot of people feel that they only want to grow the heirloom plants. 
because they, you know, they, they want to be able to plant them by seed again the next year, and that's great. But don't get hung up on it. Sometimes you need to be able to plant plants that have a certain disease resistance or maybe a certain size or a certain color or, a, or ripen at a certain time of year. So don't get hung up on whether or not they're hybrids or heirlooms. So the next one that we're gonna plant is the San Marzano. Now San Marzano is a paste tomato. So that's another thing you need to know about tomatoes. There's different types of tomatoes. So a paste tomato is going to be a tomato that has less juice and more, and more flesh. And these are used, obviously, you know, they're called a paste tomato. They're used to make paste. And that's when we come to the new variety that I wanted to try. And that's the Amish, Amish paste. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I love my San Marzano, but I wanted to try a different type of paste tomato. And the reason I chose this one is it is going to be a little bit larger. It's going to be a little bit larger than the San Marzano. And I've heard a lot of people say they really enjoy the flavor. So we're going to try that. Now we're going to add the vermiculite over the top. But I'm not going to put vermiculite over the top of the cells that don't have seeds in them so I can remember which ones don't have seeds. So I'm going to see if I can find some more mushroom basket seeds because I really enjoyed those tomatoes. So now for tomatoes. I have found that tomatoes are some of the easier seedlings to grow, especially indoors. They sprout quickly as long as you have a heat source at the bottom, and I'm going to show you the heat mat that we're going to put it on. I always put tomato seedlings on a heat mat until they sprout. Now once they've sprouted, you do take them off the heat mat, water them like you would any other regular seedlings. I water them when, they, when the top little part gets dry. I don't ever pinch the seedling tops. I just let them continue to grow. Now I do add Osmocote the same time and the same way that I do with basil. And I also do fertilize them with liquid fertilizer at the same stage as I do the basil. So tomato seedlings are easy to grow. I don't transplant my tomato plants outdoors till near the end of May. We're just gonna have to watch the weather. This year, the weather has been very different. In Utah, we've actually just broken the record for the highest amount of snowfall ever. That even includes the 1983 huge snowfall year. So we are at the most snowfall we've ever had and it's still cold outside. We've been hitting the teens in the low 20s. So hopefully, I'm really, really hopeful we're going to be able to plant our tomatoes out by the end of May. Now, I try not to plant tomatoes out until the temperatures are higher than 50 degrees. And when it is time to plant them out, we'll talk a little bit more about the spacing and how I trellis them. So that's it for tomatoes, and I would love to hear any more tips and tricks you have for growing tomatoes indoors and, the, and your favorite varieties. There are so many varieties of tomatoes. I've scaled mine back to my very favorite for this year. Maybe next year I'll expand. We'll see, but I'd love to hear what you like to grow. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has been helpful, I hope you like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and go have a wonderful garden adventure.